All right, for this question, what you need to do is, um, there's two ways to do it. If you want to do it manually without a graphing calculator, you need to uh, get the right formula. So what I've done here is I've come over here and, and gotten the formula sheet, a snippet of the formula sheet uh, that you should have printed off to take to the first test. Uh, and if you don't have a graphing calculator, for sure you'll need the formula sheet to remember this big ugly formula. But when you do it manually, we're trying to find probability of two. So P of two. So basically what this is saying, just so you know what this question is asking, um, think of this as, as maybe like a, not really a coin flip, but something like a coin flip. We're going to do an experiment six times, and we want to get, say, heads two times, but the probability of getting a heads is 0.65. We know of getting a heads would be 0.5, but that's really, that's kind of a word version of what this question is getting at. We're going to try something six times. We want to get two successes, and the probability of success is um, 65%. All right, so we fill in these numbers here the n and the x, all right, just as it is. So we have, uh, we know that n is 6, um, n minus x is 6 minus 2 factorial, and then x is 2 factorial, and then we have times p. Now p is 0 0.65, and we're going to raise that to the x power, which is 2, and then we have this letter q. Now you need to know that q is equal to 1 minus p. It's basically the probability of failure. All right, 0.65 is the probability of success, so 0.35 is the probability for failure, right? In other words, if there's a 65% chance of rain, there's a 35% chance that it won't rain. And then we do n minus x, so we do 6 minus 2, or 4. All right, so, so you're going to need to practice this, putting it in your calculator, just be very careful. Um, you may want to shorten your calculator entry procedure by realizing that this is 6 NCR 2. If you were familiar with that button pressing sequence on the last test, uh, you can just put all that in as 6 NCR 2. And then when you do this here, just make sure you do times 0 0.65 and then your, your calculator, you use the caret symbol and then the 2 and then times again and you'll do 0 0.35 caret symbol and either put 4 or if you're going to write 6 minus 2, do parentheses for the 6 minus 2. And if you enter all that properly, you should get that on the calculator. All right, now I'm going to pull up the, uh, the graphing calculator and show you how that's done on the graphing calculator. So the graphing calculator, here's what we do. Uh, pull it into the screen here. All right, for that one, you hit second, the yellow button there. And then VAR. See right above VAR is a di distribution. This is a probability distribution. And you're going to go all the way down until you get to a binomial probability distribution function. So we're going to do binomial PDF. And in this one, you have to put it in order of N, comma, and then the P comes next, 0.65, comma, and then 2, close parentheses. And there you get the answer is uh, 0 0.95, 0 0.095. And so you see that is a little bit faster way of doing it. But again, for this question, um, regardless of which way you do it, you can see the graphing calculator is going to be a lot faster um, for doing this, but you should get 0 0.095 as the answer to this question. So this, this one's not too intense compared to stuff we're going to do later, but the graphing calculator is, um, is a lot faster.